Hi, how you doing? It's Jonathan Cole again. Uh, in this video, um, I'm going to do an unboxing of a 12 string electric guitar. And uh, it's the Harley Benton RB612CS Classic Series. And a very retro looking guitar, but nevertheless, a beautiful guitar. And it costs about 305 Singapore dollars, which amounts to probably about 280, 270 US or 192 euros. Yeah, so stick around as we do the unboxing and the play it through. As usual, the package comes in uh, really nicely packed. You know, this stuff. And, and lastly, an electric guitar. This, I believe, is a. This is a Harley Benton Classic Series RB612CS. Uh, okay, I didn't order this. My friend ordered this, so in any case, I'll still do an unboxing in the playthrough of this. Um, let's see how it sounds like. There we go. This is more RB612CS. So as we unbox this, uh, you know that uh, it's a well, you know, it, it's made to look like an old, famous 12 string guitar that a lot of famous groups used. So it has a, uh, what you call it, a, a Rose Acer uh, fretboard uh, with dot inlays, neck profile C, 22 frets. Didn't say much about the, uh, the make of the wood. Oh, there it is. A mahogany for the body and the maple set in neck. Oh, so it's not a bow tie, it's a set in neck. Interesting. With a casino tailpiece and a tunematic bridge. Hmm. So this is a cherry sunbiss, high gloss. So let's take a look. Ooh, you fell off. You guys do know what a clumsy fella I am. <laughs> so, okay, let's get this out of the way. It comes here with Jack, which is pretty decent. Ooh, that's a nice looking guitar. Huh? 12 string. It's um, the nut is pretty interesting. I don't know what sort of nut is this. Can you tell? Um, this, does it say anything about the nut? No. It looks interesting. It looks like oh, but it's a plastic. Yeah. Feels like. Mm. Okay, the stickers. The usual picks and the Tormod QC inspection. Lovely guitar. Ooh. I like the form factor. You know, it's I think it's different coming up from the camera when you see it. And I suppose to seeing it live. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Look at that. The colors. You know, all the colors. And the tailpiece. <laughs> old school, man. Old school. Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm actually liking it. I don't know how it sounds like, but you know, if it if it sounds good, I might just get one of me. Just get one of these for myself. This is from a friend actually. Um, he bought this guitar and and agreed that I would do a sort of a unboxing and review of this guitar. Yeah, at the same time. So yeah. So let's do the playthrough. So I thought I'd give you all a really close up look at the guitar. <laughs> this guitar strikes me as. You know, it just takes me back to the old days. Um, I have no idea what pickups are these, so I'll do a check. And I'll let you know, uh, right at the bottom here. Alright, so, um, great piece of hardware, you know. Um, don't know whether this will stand the test of time and abuse, but it looks firm. Yeah. Nice tail piece. Love the retro knobs. <laughs> you know, still have plastic coverings on them. So, you know, and this whole thing has a plastic covering on it, so you can actually tear it off. But I didn't want to do that. Uh, I'll leave it to the to the real owner. <laughs> uh, Three-way uh, 
to kill switch. Um, you know, I, I find that the uh, the finishing uh, leaves. Well, it's not that bad, but you know, you can see that there are a couple of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I won't say it's sloppy workmanship, but you know, it's just uh, not really that well done, but you know, for its price, you know. And um, the strap. Yeah. So just take a look at the back before I show you the headpiece. So basically, it's just a mahogany body set in. You know? It's not a boat on. It's a set in. Is it that? And. Um, Let's take a look at the fretboard. Fretboard looks really nice, a little bit dry, yeah. Probably, you know, you should probably oil it up at one point or another. The only thing that I don't really like is the nut. It looks kind of cheap, but uh, then again, I don't even know what material is this. Not really well finished, as you can see. Okay, can you see this? Or well, maybe that's the way it is, you know. And then the uh, the plate for the truss rod adjustment. Yeah, my camera is acting up today. It's, it's finding hard to autofocus. So the till, I mean the um, the tuners, they are relatively the normal ones from Harley Benton, I guess. So many more of those there, and uh, let's see where this made. Made in China, okay? It's made in China. And that's about it. This piece of uh, of a guitar. Looks really nice at first impression. Yeah. So as you can see from the close-up, um, guitar is pretty well manufactured. Um, <laughs> it just you just really need looking at it, you know, your hardware just just dazzled. Uh, there are like protective plastics all along the pickups which I remove uh, in order to have a proper playthrough. In any case, for another interest, Tomman actually sent me an email uh, saying that uh, this shipment was delayed, was slightly delayed because of the QC check on this. So I guess they did something, or rather, they, they did a job, you know, they actually inspected this and rectified any problem with this guitar because a 12 string guitar is pretty, pretty tricky um, to stay in tune and to have the action just right. You know, it's actually it's pretty good actually for a 12 string. Mm. Yeah. So, neat guitar. Um, let's play through it, you know, and, and, and see how it sounds like.
So, you heard the sound. Um, pretty impressive. Um, I didn't put it through any high distortion because I don't think 12 string guitars are meant for that. Uh, basically, it's for chord works and those sort of lines, you know. Uh, but I could use this for for recording actually. It's a, it's, a, it's pretty nice. I can get nice tones uh, depending on the amps that you use and the effects. I haven't uh, added any effects on the on the playthrough because it's just through the amp and a little bit of reverb and that's about it. Um, it would sound really good with delays, you know, if you want that atmospheric thing. Uh, tone control works pretty well. Um, what are my impressions? Being a 12 string guitar has its disadvantages, of course. Uh, the fretboard is kind of white. So if you're thinking of like playing, uh, like, you know, if you think this, this plays like a normal electric guitar, then you are you know, you're mistaken because it's not. It, it takes a bit of practice, you know, getting used to, to the white fretboard. And I believe the fretboard is pretty. Oh, well, it's here. Yeah, it has a curve to it. I don't know what the range is like, but uh, there's a slight curve to it. This looks like uh, normal nickel frets. Normal nickel frets. Um, frets are pretty well seated, well installed. I didn't have any problem with it uh, while playing. Um, intonation is pretty good. Pretty well set up. I think Tomon did a really good job at setting this up in the right way. In the right way. Um, tuners are really good, you know, surprisingly, because you can't, being a 12 string guitar, you know, it's a pain to tune this, this 12 string guitars. And the tuners help a little because they are responsive and um, they're pretty, yeah, they're pretty great actually. I believe these are the normal Harley Benton uh, tuners that we get, you know, but um, for this guitar, it works really well. And, uh, you know, you well, there are a couple of like dings here and there, but there's nothing much. There's a slight ding over here. Yeah, but I don't think it's really that. It's not really a game changer. The um, the lacquer in the aft hole, you know, a bit inside is pretty ugly. You know, it's like you know, sporty and and all that. You know. But then who would actually pick it to the aft hole? So, you know, is that me? Uh, no scratches, nothing, no big blemishes, except for the little thing over here. What do I think of this guitar? Um, if you need a 12 string electric guitar, cheap one, go for this. Totally playable, totally recordable. Um, it's pretty light, and it's, I mean, it's a bit tall. Well, not really, I mean, it's kind of balanced, you know. Yeah, it's kind of balanced. So it's, even though you have a whole lot of uh, hardware at the top, it doesn't weigh you down because the body is kind of... I don't know how much it weighs, you know, I'll probably put the weight down below. Um, pretty well balanced, and I think you can... And it's pretty light, actually. You can play long hours with this on stage, if, you know, if you choose to. Yeah, so this is my take on the Harley Benton um, Classic Series 12 string. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please go ahead and do it and uh, hit the bell button so that you'll be uh, notified every time a new video is up. So in the meantime, uh, stay frosty, stay cool, and I wish the best for you. So till later, ciao, bye.